Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine label hologram. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. When in doubt, telephone the Federation Against Copyright Theft or in the case of the Republic of Ireland Columbia TriStar Home Video is home to the finest in family entertainment. This is going to be a fantastic show! Encompassing a world of familiar favourites, both big... Welcome to the big blue house. ...and little. I can rub your tummy. How'd you like to rub it from the inside, mouse boy? That's funny! With well-known faces and some brand new friends. This is getting very exciting! Our range of feature films brings the best of the big screen into the home. Whoa. Stuart Little, the box office giant available soon to buy on video and DVD. He's not big enough to pass gas! Everyone's Sesame Street favourite finds a world of excitement in the adventures of Elmo in Grouchland. Let's go find out what happens to Elmo. Okay, good, great, great! A little gonzo goes a long way in Muppets from Space. <laughs> Preschool shows prove that learning can be fun. There's Moppet Up Shop. That's our snorty hog in his squelchy bog, your majesty. And meet a new character from the Jim Henson Company. Bear in the big blue house. Look out for the whole range on video. And when it comes to TV series, grab your broomstick and get ready to meet the worst witch. <laughs> With six videos to collect. And everyone's favourite, the Muppets. The Chicky in the Basky. And goes for the little Chicky. And you over here, the Basky. Plus, there's a whole range of classic family movies. Films like Madeline. Take that video and that. Giving me grey hair. Can I see? Annie. It's not life for us. It's a hard not life for us. And Oliver. Shut up and drink your chin. There's something for everyone in Columbia TriStar Home Video's fantastic family collection. The finest in family entertainment. Everybody's talking about... It's the UK's number one physical play programme that'll give your child a head start in life. While they enjoy themselves, they'll be developing important physical and social skills. Tumble tots. Safe, challenging and lots of fun. Tumble tots are great. 
there are five banded tumble tots age groups, from the crawling and walking stage through to early school years. Close to a million children have had the time of their lives and benefited from the tumble tots experience over the last 20 years. With over 450 centres across the UK, there's a tumble tots near you. Call 0121 585 7003 to find out about Tumble Tots weekly sessions in your area. Tumble Tots are great! Who will do, Tiddly Peeps? I'm Hubba Hubba, talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favourite hoobs down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobapedia. Here they come! You know who the hoops are? Ivor! Groot! And Tula! We're And they're ready to go. Oh. Now the wheels are turning, we cannot get learning all the things we want to know. Hey! Holla, holla, in Hoobland, and Rome is somewhere far away. Singing, we keep the engine spinning. Hoop, 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 hooray! The hoop of it is coming your way. Ha, oh. Well, hey! Oh. The hoops are here, so what do you say? Hoops! Hoobledoop, Tula. <laughs> Hoobledoop, Ivor. Do you know, I'm in the mood to think up a hoobledoobledooper question for today's hoob news. And I'm just in the mood for picking hoob nips. So I'm going straight up onto the hoobie roof garden. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think I'll go and check the engine, see if the motorettes are all right. Wake up, Groove! <laughs> Groove, is there anybody there under oh. that twizzle tuft? <laughs> oh, I'll find out. Groove! <laughs> what? Oh, Hoobledoop Tula. Hubble do groove and a whoop whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. whoop. Oh, Tula, I really didn't want to get out of my hooby pod today. It's so soft and squidgy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Groove, but we need to think of a question for today's hoop news. Mm. You know, I'm going to find out all about soft and squidgy things, and I can start a soft and squidgy collection. <laughs> How hooby groovy is that? Mmm, <laughs> lovely juicy hoop nips for making delicious hoop nip tart. Step back. <laughs> right, little motorettes, I'm going to give you a clean up with the Hooby engine duster. Come on, come on. Hoople doop groove. Hoople doop groove. <laughs> Hoople doop either. <laughs> Have you thought of a question for today's hoop news? Sorry. Have you? Have you thought of a question for today's hoop news? Uh, uh, no, no, sorry, I, I haven't. Um, I'm busy finding out about soft and squidgy things on Hoobnet. Oh, well, be quick, Groove, be quick. <laughs> Tula! Hubba! Hubba! Oh, Hoobble Doob Groove! It's a lovely day here in Hoobland. How are you getting on on the Pea Planet? Ah, oh, be Groovy Hubba Hubba. Listen, I was wondering, uh, could you look on Hoobnet and see if you can send me anything <laughs> soft and squidgy? I'm starting a collection of soft and squidgy things. Oh, oh are you? Oh, oh right. right. Let me see. Soft and squidgy. Yes. Yeah. Soft and squidgy. Ah! Now I've found some soft and squidgy stuff that tiddly peeps play with. Oh, yeah. Look! Oh, hubba hubba, that's Hoobie Groovy! Yeah! I'll print that out. Oh. 
I'll send you some right away, Groove. And I'll be back just as soon as you've thought up a question for Hoob News. Thank you, Hubba Hubba. <coughs> Ivor, Tula, I've got a picture of Hoob Nips. By the time we've answered our question for the day, this Hoob Nip tart will be ready. <laughs> oh, can I have a nibble now, Tula? No, Groove! Now is not the time for nibbling. Now is the time for finding out how many Hoob Nips I'll need for my Hoob Nip tart. Oh... Tiddly peeps love finding things out, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. Mm. I wonder, how do tiddly peeps find things out? Hubba, hubba, hubba. Oh, Groove. Hubba, hubba. I think you've hit on the question. Here's hubba, hubba. How do tiddly peeps find things out? Oh, that's a fantabby hooby question for today's hoob news. It is. Yes, either. And I can put everything you discover into my great Hoobopedia so Hoobs everywhere can find out. So, where do we start? Right. Let me have a little look on Hoobnet to see if I can find anything about Tiddly Peeps that will start you off. Ah, here we go. Take a look at this. Oh, what's going on here? Ah... She looks as if she's finding out something. Oh, well, that looks like fun. Yeah, they seem to be playing. Oh, they seem to be playing too. <laughs> playing. Tiddly peeps do an awful lot of playing. Ah, speaking of playing, that'll be my delivery of soft and squidgy plates to find from Hoobnet. Do you suppose Tiddly Peeps find things out by playing? Well, I guess they do, Ivor. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> it's here! <laughs> we Hoobs do a lot of playing, but I've never really thought about how much we find out from it. Mm, well, what we need is something to play with, then we can see. And I, Groove, have the answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, oh! Oh, can I have a go? Oh, please, let me have a go. No, the, no, just you wait. Just, I, this is for my collection of soft and squidgy oh, things. I, it's back. mine, so I, I get first I go. go. Come along, you must let me have a go because no. I... No, because I... No. <laughs> what a noise! We've already found out that you can play a hooby chase game with Groove soft and squidgy stuff. <laughs> yeah, and you can play a banging game by whacking it with a hooby sandwich hammer until it's nice <laughs> and flat. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, Groove. Well, I'm going back to play with my tart. Maybe I'll find out how many hoob lips I need. Uh, I wonder if tiddly peeps have any other ways of finding things out. Hubba, 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 hubba. <laughs> If you want to know how the Tiddly Peeps find things out, then I suggest that you go and find some Tiddly Peeps to ask. The motorettes are all ready to make the Hoobmobile go. Well then, what are you waiting for? Ooh, I'll drive. And I'll work out how many Hoobnips we need while we drive along. Hoobnips. <laughs> Groove? Uh, Groove, are you coming? Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on, Groove. Coming. <sighs> Pop your seatbelt on. Oh, yeah. <coughs> We're, We're off to, to see, see the Tiddly Peeps! <laughs> yes, ah! We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps On the road we go We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps They're smart! They're fun! They know! The Tiddly Peeps, the Tiddly Peeps If we need to know Who, what, where, why, when and how We'll ask them off we go oh. yes, ah! We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps on the road we go We're off to see the tiddly peeps They're smart, they're fun, they know Hoople ah! doop, tiddly peeps Hoople doop, Ivor uh, Want to do a hooby hello? Yes Hoople doop, hoople doop Whoop, whoop, whoop Hooby galooby You're playing with soft, squidgy stuff uh, Can you see this groove? Yeah <laughs> Now, we hoops need to know something Well, what do you need to know? Either. Well, we're trying to find out how tiddly peeps find things out. But why? Why? 
Well, Max, because we spend all our time finding things out. But where? All over the universe. Do you know, we were on the Dozo planet finding out all about the Dozos and the Diddly Dozos. But when? Just before we came to your Peep planet <laughs> to find out about Peeps and Tiddly Peeps. <laughs> Do you know, other hoops, they're on other planets. <laughs> and we all travel around in Hoobmobiles. They take us wherever we want to go. How? How? Well, they run on music. In the engine, there are lots of musical instruments and three little motorettes who play the instruments and sing. And that's how we can get to visit you, so that you can help us find out about things, so that we can send our answers back to... Who? Hubba Hubba in Hoobland. Hooby Galooby, you tiddly peeps do ask a lot of questions, don't you? Could you answer mine now? How do tiddly peeps find things out? By asking lots of questions. <laughs> oh, just like Hoobs. No wonder Hoobs and Tiddly Peeps get on so well together. Oh, yes, Ivor. Tiddly Peeps love Hoobs. Oh, that's lovely. And Hoobs love Tiddly Peeps. Hoobble Toodle Doo. Hoobble Toodle Doo. Ah, that's loads. Can I have one too? No, not yet, Groove. <laughs> oh. Do you believe it? Tiddly peeps find out about things the same way that we do. Yeah. Yeah. By asking questions like, why? 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 Who would have thought Tiddly peeps ask as many questions as hoops do? Yeah. I have a question. Would a splash of Hubo Fizz taste good in my tart? Roma. Well, I... Roma. Ah, ah, no time to answer that now, Tula. Here comes Roma. Who will do boobs? Now, I've been with these fantabby Hooby Tiddly Peeps all day. And they've given me this fizzy drink, which looks a bit like Hubo Fizz. Hubo Fizz? Uh, Roma, does it give you the Hooby Hicks like Hubo Fizz does? <laughs> I don't know, Groove. I'm going to test it to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Hooby Hicks oh. hooves. But, Roma, what we want to know is, do the Tiddly Peeps test things out? The Tiddly Peeps never stop testing. Give them water and they splash it and pour it. Give them paint and they mix it together to see what colour they get. Any Hooby Hicks yet, Roma? No, still no Hooby Hicks. So, my test shows that Tiddly Peep fizzy drink does not give me Hooby Hicks like Hoobo Fizz does. <gasps> Just a minute, it does! Oh, it does! Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, this is Roma Hoob reporting for Hoob News with the news that Tiddly Peep Fizzy Drink does give me Hooby Hicks. Oh, Hoobble Toodle, it do hick off! <laughs> so, Tiddly Peeps. Test things out. Yeah. Just like hoops. Well, we'd better <laughs> test something out just to make sure. Oh, let's test the hoobnip tart out to see if it's really <gasps> yummy. No, Groove, not yet. I'm still wondering whether a splash of hoobo fizz would be good. No, oh, it's just a suggestion. <laughs> I've just had a hoobacious idea. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should test your soft and squidgy stuff to see if you can make something out of it. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> what should I make? Well, it's blue, so it will have to be something blue. What do we know that's blue? Hubba, 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 hubba. <laughs> hubba, hubba, hubba. Yeah, I'll see if I can make a hubba, hubba out of my soft and squidgy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, Groove, you, you could, could put, put me into your, into your collection, collection of soft and squidgy things. Oh, hubba, hubba. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you do that, let me show you this story that a tiddly peep sent to Hoobnet. <laughs> Boffin the Big Book sat on a dusty shelf in old Mr and Mrs Grumble's house. He was very sad. Here I am, full of interesting facts and beautiful pictures, and does anyone ever open me and look things up? No. Old Mr Grumble was always too busy sorting out his stamps to be interested in anything else. 
But old Mrs Grumble was forever asking questions like What does an armadillo have for breakfast? Or why does my big toe have a knobbly bit on it? Old Mr Grumble would reply grumpily Don't ask me, I don't know. But Boffin the Big Book would jump up and down on his shelf. Ask me, I know. I'm Boffin the Big Book and I know everything. But nobody heard him. Now one day, Sammy Smart came to have tea with old Mr and Mrs Grumble. Halfway through a jam donut, old Mrs Grumble piped up. What's the hairiest thing in the world? Don't ask me, I don't know, said old Mr Grumble. Do you know Sammy? No, but I know a man who does. Sammy took Boffin the big book down. You can find everything out by looking it up in here, said Sammy. It's an encyclopedia. Did you hear that, said old Mrs Grumble. We can look up anything we need to know. Then I'm going to look up all about stamps, said old Mr Grumble. And from that day on, old Mr and Mrs Grumble never stopped looking things up. And Boffin the Big Book had a big smile all over his cover. So, Tiddly Peeps find out about things from books. And I found out something by looking it up in my Hooby cookbook. Oh. A splash of Hubo fizz is perfect in a Hoobnip tart, so I tested it out. And I've tested my soft and squidgy stuff. Ta-da! <laughs> hubba hubba! <laughs> Oh, well done, Groove. Thank you. Well, I'm going to put it in the Hoobie studio, ready for Hoob news. <laughs> oh, tiddly peeps are hoobly groobly at finding things out, aren't they? Do you know something, Ivor? Mm -hmm. When the tiddly peeps are around you, you can never feel lonely, can you? <sighs> I think that the peep planet is the best planet we have ever visited. We travelled all the way from Hoobland We could be feeling low Because we roam so far from home It's a long, long way for a Hoob to have to go We've been on planets where the dozy doe sleeps Where the whistle worm wriggles And the crying cow weeps But, but we've never found friends like the Tiddly Peeps They're smart They're fun They know Peeps and hoots are finder outers Searching for the answers in the world about us If you play with things, you can start to explore Then ask a question and you'll find out more But here's how hoobacious the tiddly peeps are When they don't know the answer, they look it up In an encyclopedia You've been on planets where the dozy doe sleeps, the whirzel worm wriggles and the crying cow weeps. But we've never found friends like the tiddly peeps. They're smart. They're smart. They're fun. They're fun. They know. They're smart. They're smart. They're fun. They're fun. They know. Do you know what? That encyclopedia is a bit like the Hoobopedia, isn't it, Hubba Hubba? You're right, Groove. My great Hoobopedia is like an encyclopedia, but it's on Hoobnet, and you look things up in it by using a Hoobie computer. I wonder if Tiddly Peeps ever find things out by looking them up on their computers. Well, there's only one way to find out, Hoobs. Yes, go and find some more Tiddly Peeps. <laughs> We're off to see the tiddly peeps, on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps, they're smart, they're fun, they know. The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps, if we need to know. Who, what, where, why, when and how, we'll ask them off we go. Oh. We're off to see the tiddly peeps, on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps, they're smart, they're fun, they know. Well 
Tiddlypeep. Hi, Tiddly Peep. Hi, Tiddly Grew. Now, I wonder if you can help. We're trying to find out how Tiddly Peeps find things out. And so far, we think that you do all the things that Hoobs do. But there's just one thing. Do you ever look things up on your, um, your computers? Yes, Groove. Follow me. Oh. Hmm. Ah, oh, Hoobie Groovy. What's your name? My name's Emma. Emma? And uh, what are you doing now? I'm looking something up. Ah. Oh. Ivor, Tula, did you hear that? This Tiddly Peep is looking something up on the computer. What are you trying to find out? I'm trying to find out about hoobs. <laughs> You're trying to find out all about hoobs? Because <laughs> we're trying to find out all about Tiddly Peeps. How hooby groovy is that? Very hooby groovy. Hmm? <laughs> oh, thank you so much for your help, Emma. I've got to get back to the hoobmobile. So, hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. <laughs> Tula, tiddly peeps are the best. Oh, yes, they're smart. They're fun. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Come on, you two, time for Hoob News. Yeah. Oh, a tootle, tim and twang. I blow. I strum. I bang. Just watch us zoom round the engine room with a clitter and, and a clatter and a clang. I blow, that's what I do. Tiddle, little, little. I strum, I strum So the hooves can visit you When to the hoover, I want Whoever is the driver Turns the key with a one, two, three The engine comes alive Oh, we make the engine go I strum, I bang, I blow So I've a groove and two The two can find what they need to know So I've a groove and two The two can find what they need to know well, Hoobs, are you ready to give me your answers for my great Hoobopedia? We're ready, Hubba Hubba. Well, take it away. <laughs> Hoople doop whoop to all you Hoobs out there. Welcome to Hoob News, the new show for Hoobs everywhere. I'm Ivor. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today we've been asking the question. How do tiddly peeps find things out? Hubba Hubba found us all sorts of pictures on Hoobnet of tiddly peeps playing. So we played with my new soft and squidgy stuff that I ordered from Hoobnet. <laughs> then we went to find some tiddly peeps to ask them how they found things out. And I discovered that they found things out by... Asking lots of questions! Then Roma sent us a report about how tiddly peeps find things out by testing them. Roma had been testing a tiddly peep drink to see if it gave her the hooby hicks. Do hick off! We then discovered that tiddly peeps find things out by looking them up in books. And we discovered a very useful book called an encyclopedia. Hubba Hubba is putting together a Hoobopedia on Hoobnet. So that made us wonder whether tiddly peeps look things up on their computers like Hoobs do. So I went to visit the tiddly peeps and they do look things up on their computers. I'm trying to find out about Hoobs. And we Hoobs are here to find out all about tiddly peeps. <laughs> and today we found out that tiddly peeps find out in just the same way as Hoobs do. Hoob, hoob, hoob hooray! Oh yes, tiddly peeps are hoobble doobble dooper. Oh, and so is that model you've made of me, Groove. Ah, oh, thanks, Hubba Hubba. I'm going to put it in my soft and squidgy collection. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's thank you to Ivor, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving us all a little peep into the world of peeps. And remember, wherever you are, have a hoobly groobly day and hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. Excuse me, excuse what? me, excuse me. Ooh. Thank you very much. Where are you going? I'm going to have a bit of tart. Oh! oh. Hubba Hubba in Hoobland And Roma somewhere far away The motorists are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop Hoop Hooray! hooray. The Hoobba Hill is coming your way <laughs> Who will do 
tiddly peeps. I'm Hubba Hubba talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favorite tubes down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobapedia. Here they come! <laughs> You know who the hoops are? Ivor, Groove, and Tula! And they're ready to go. Oh. Now the wheels are turning, we can all get learning all the things we want to know. Yeah. Hubba Hubba in Hoobland, and Rome is somewhere far away. Oh, oh, oh. The motorettes are singing. We keep The hoops are here, so oh, what do you say? Hoops! Hooby Chip Tula. Oh, thanks, Groove. I love Hooby Chips. Oh, especially the blue ones. Yeah. <laughs> ah, blue's my favourite too. There's something about a blue Hooby Chip that makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hoople doop either. A hoople doop. <laughs> What's so funny about liking blue hoopy chips? <laughs> oh, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the monkey in this book. <laughs> Monkeys are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a look? <laughs> <laughs> of course you can, but only if I can have a hoopy chip while you're looking. All right. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Groove. <laughs> Groove. What? Can I have a hoobie chip? Yes, of course you can. Help yourself. No. <laughs> Is the monkey really that funny? <laughs> yes, Tula. Yes. Yes, they are funny. Do you know, I haven't laughed this much since the last time I played with my hoobal dangler. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hoobal danglers make all hoobs laugh. Don't they, Tula? Do you think a monkey would like a hoobal dangler? <laughs> Why? I was trying to think of something to give a monkey. Hmm. I'm not sure a monkey would like a hoobal dangler. I think it's uh, more a hoob thing. <laughs> no. You see, I'd like to give a monkey something to make him happy. As a thank you present for making us happy. That's a lovely idea, Ivor. But what can a hoop give a monkey to make him happy? What can a hoop give a monkey to make him happy? I've never thought of that. What a fan tabby hoopy question for today's hoop news. I'm so glad you think so, Hubba Hubba, because it's something we really want to know. It's something hoops everywhere will want to know, Ivor. And the answer can go straight into my hoopopedia. I'll email Roma to ask her to find out about what monkeys like and what monkeys don't like. Oh, Roma will love monkeys, Hubba Hubba. Tula, are you sure a monkey wouldn't like a hoobal dangler? <laughs> um, not now, Groove. Oh, come on, Tula, makes you happy. Makes you no, happy. but I'm not a monkey and a monkey's not me. <laughs> hey, what's happened to the hoobie chips? Hmm? <clears throat> The hooby chips. Yes, uh, tuna, uh, groove. <gasps> groove? You ate them all. Did I? But well, well not to worry. There's, there's another bag around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, uh, we were just about to start finding out about monkeys. Hubba hubba. Ah, yes. What can a hoob give to a monkey to make him happy? Where should we begin? Well, I think we should begin with monkeys, I <gasps> Great idea! Let's see what I can find out for you on Hoobnet about monkeys. Ah! One little monkey. Hoobledoop! Oh, climbing up a tree. Oh, there's a lot on a rock. Ooh, up and up and up we go. Oh, I'm feeling a little peckish though. Oh, and having a good old hooby scratch. And chew and chomp and chew. Ah, <laughs> just hanging around. Hoobble doop. Did you notice something about all those monkeys? Yes, they were so sweet, especially the. 
babies. <laughs> no, um, what I noticed was... Oh, look, another bag of hooby chips. I knew I had one somewhere. <laughs> what I noticed was that all those monkeys were in trees. So? So, so we could give a monkey a tree. Mm, yes, it would make him really happy. But, Ivor, monkeys swing from peep trees, not hoop trees. And we don't have any peep trees on the roof of the Hoopmobile, do we? No, we don't, Tula, no. No, we, we, we only have a hoobnib tree. Hey, oh, we can't give the monkey the hoobnib tree because, well, we need all our hoobnibs to make hoobo fizz and hoobnib tart. Exactly. And even if we did have a peep tree or could get one from somewhere, how could we carry it? She's right, you know. Um, she usually is. Mm. Right, um, we'll just have to think of something else to give a monkey. <laughs> but what? 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 We're not doing very well, are we? No. Roma, Roma. Ah, but here's Roma. Maybe she's found some monkeys. Who will do, Roma? Who will do, Poobs? Now, I'm here in the jungle where it's awfully hot and sticky, but I don't mind because I've been making some fan-tabby hooby new friends. What sort of friends, Roma? Well, you can see them up in the trees. Hoobaciously hairy monkeys. You might wonder why I've got leaves in my hat. Well, I'll tell you. I've been rolling around on the ground with a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you see, monkeys just love rolling. And I must say, I had enormous fun doing it too. Nothing like a good roll. They also like chucking leaves about. Is there anything else the monkeys like, Roma? Yes. Their favourite game of all is swinging in the trees. <laughs> monkeys absolutely love swinging from branches. And they're frightfully good at it because they have extraordinarily strong arms. <laughs> oh, uh, Much stronger than mine. But that won't stop me from having a go, Hoobs. I always saw myself as a bit of a swinger. <laughs> this is Roma Hoob, reporting from the jungle and about to swing with a monkey. I say, can you throw me a vine? Hoobal Toodle Do! <laughs> Hoobal Toodle Do, Roma! So. Monkeys like to play games. I'm going to make hoop loads of leaves for the studio so we can turn it into a jungle. Yeah, and we can be monkeys. Mm. Mm. Oh, and we can chase each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we could roll around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Ivor, be a monkey. It's a great game. <laughs> That's it. What? What? We could give our monkey a brand new game. That would make him happy. Yeah. <gasps> Hoobble doobble dooper. <laughs> Can you think of one? Ah. Uh, um, oh. Someone must know a game. But who? <laughs> We were just thinking of you. That's, That's nice, because, because I'm always thinking of you. We just need you to tell us a good monkey game and we're there. Oh, Fantabby Hooby. Uh, but I don't know any monkey games. You don't? No, the Hoops on the Planet Flurb recently told me about a good Flurbian game, but um, you need six arms to play it. Oh, the monkeys have only got two arms. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. <laughs> I, I know. Why don't you go and see the tiddly peeps? Cheeky monkey. What? Just what? Cheeky monkey. Prove. Why don't you go? Oh, that's a good idea. I love the tiddly peeps. Good. They're fun, they're smart. They know. Oh, I can drive you there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
<sighs> Seatbelt Tula. Mm -hmm. We're, We're off, off to, to see the, the Tiddly Peeps. Yes, We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps. They're smart. They're fun. They know. The Tiddly Peeps, the Tiddly Peeps. If we need to know who, what, where, why, when, and how, we'll ask them off we go. We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the Tiddly Peeps. They're smart. They're fun. I'm so pleased to see you. Guess what? Tula, Ivor and I are trying to think of a new game that a monkey would like to play. Have you got any ideas? How about a monkey rhyme? That's a hooby groovy idea, but mm, I don't know any monkey rhymes. But we do! There was a naughty monkey who jumped on the bed. He fell off the end and bumped his head. They sent for the doctor and the doctor said... What a naughty monkey to jump on the bed. That's a hoobble doobble dooper monkey rhyme. <laughs> I can't wait to tell it to a monkey. Wait a minute. Monkeys can't talk, can they? No. So they won't understand the rhyme. And I don't know how to speak monkey language either. Monkeys speak like this. Hoobie galoobie, you're right. Monkey has got to be the funniest language I've ever heard. <laughs> Thanks, Tiddly Peeps, and a hoobble toodle do. If we talk like a monkey, that would make a monkey happy. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now that we know how to talk like a monkey, we can give our monkey that rhyme. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. We could give our monkey yeah. a story. story. Oh, yeah! Stories from Hoobland are hooby groovy. The happiest stories ever. Let's practice our monkey talk first. Monkey talk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Monkey talk. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. There's nothing as funky as a hoop talking monkey. Ooh, ooh. You can do it too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now listen to me, my ooh means hello. In chimpanzee. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Make no mistake. My ooh is how you say hi in ape. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'm over the moon. I can hold a conversation with a big baboon. Monkey talk. Ooh, ooh, ooh! A monkey talk. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh! There's nothing as funky as a hoop talking monkey. Ooh, <laughs> ooh! You can do it too. If a who could talk like a monkey, if a who could make a monkey understand, then a who could tell a tale to a monkey, and he'd be the happiest monkey in the land. Ooh, 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 ooh. means tell me another. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's the best story yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's made me so happy. This is as happy as a monkey can get. Monkey talk. <laughs> Monkey talk. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's nothing as funky as a hoop talking monkey. You can do it too. I have got a great monkey story. Listen. Well, what do you think? Uh, well, um, it's... Uh, the, 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 the thing is, Tula... Um, well, even though you sounded like a monkey, yeah. we didn't understand a word you said. No. Oh, dear. So what did you say? Well, that's the problem, you see. I didn't understand what I said either, because... I don't understand monkey. Oh. We're going to have to be very careful. Mm. I mean, what if ooh, ooh, ooh means you're ugly? Or you smell. Well, that wouldn't make a monkey happy at all. Oh, dear. So we haven't found out what we can give a monkey to make him happy. No. I think we should find a monkey. Oh, I'd love to find a monkey. <laughs> uh, monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> 
but where? Where, where, where? Where? Abba, 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 Abba. I know where you'll find a monkey. In a story. I just discovered this one on Hoobnet, and I think you should hear it. Teeny the monkey and her mother had just moved to a new jungle. Teeny loved her new home, but there was one thing she wanted more than anything else. She wanted to play with the monkeys who lived in the big tree across the way. She tried swinging from branch to branch and crying, oh, 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 at the top of her voice. But the big tree monkeys didn't reply. Then Mother Monkey built an extra large leafy nest, so there was lots of room for monkeys to play. But the big tree monkeys never came. Oh dear, Teeny sighed. I'm never going to make friends with the big tree monkeys. Then one day, a parrot landed on a nearby branch. The big tree monkeys are having a tea party, he said. Can Teeny come please? Teeny was so happy. Mother Monkey was happy too. Oh, Teeny! She cried. You must look your best for the tea party. I'll give you an extra special groom. Sit still while I pick all the bugs and dusty bits and pieces out of your fur. There's a good monkey. So Teeny sat and Mother Monkey groomed her. She picked out all the bugs and dusty bits and pieces. And as she picked them out, she popped them into her mouth. Hmm, very tasty. Soon, it was time for the tea party. And Teeny's fur had never looked so wonderful. Have a lovely time, said Mother Monkey, waving goodbye. But Teeny turned to Mother Monkey and said, Oh, what are you going to do about your tea, Mum? But Mother Monkey didn't need any tea. She had eaten hers already. <laughs> Teeny really liked her fur being cleaned. Yeah. That has given me an idea. Turn around, Groove. What? I want to clean your fur. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what does it feel like? Oh, it's very nice, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what a hoop can give a monkey. A Clean. He'd love it. And what about the bugs and dusty bits? Day. Eh? What bugs and dusty bits? The ones in a monkey's fur. If you clean a monkey's fur, you have to eat the bugs and dusty bits, just like Teeny's mum did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not eating bugs and dusty bits. I'm a hoob, not a monkey. Yeah. I eat hooby chips, not bugs and dusty bits. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Maybe hooby chips would make a monkey happy. But hooby chips are for hoobs. Hmm. Do you think there's something else besides bugs and dusty bits that monkeys like to eat? Hubba, 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 hubba. Good question, Iva. Oh, uh, thanks, hubba, hubba. I'm sure that the tiddly peeps will be able to answer that question for you. After all, they're smart. They're fun. They, they know. know. Yes. <laughs> Go turn that hoobmobile key, hoobs. Wake up those motorettes in the engine and find yourself some tiddly peeps. Great idea, Hubba Hubba. Uh, this time, I'll go and talk to them. Are you driving, Groove? Yeah, and I'm going to bring my hoobie chips with me. <laughs> <laughs> To see the tiddly peeps on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart, they're fun. They know. The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps. If we need to know who, what, where, why, when, and how, we'll ask them off we go. Oh. We're off to see the tiddly peeps on the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart, they're fun. They know. Hoople doop, tiddly peeps. Groove, Tula and I have been trying to think of something to give a monkey to make him feel happy. Now we know that something that makes us feel happy is eating our favourite food. Oh yes. The trouble is, we don't know which food monkeys like best to eat. Do you? Monkeys like eating bananas. Bananas? Here's a banana you can have. Oh, uh, thank you. It looks delicious. So how comes you've got bananas here? You're not expecting any monkeys, are you? 
No, chicken peeps like bananas too. Mm. Uh, Groove, Tula, yeah? look what I've got. The, the tiddly peeps say bananas are a monkey's favourite food. Yeah. 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 I'd better be going now. Have a great picnic, and if any monkeys do turn up, say hello to them for me, won't you? Who will Tula do? Who will Tula do? I don't believe it. Oh, it's true. The Tiddly Peeps told me. Monkeys love bananas. You heard them. Yes, but look. Hmm? The answer was here all along. <laughs> Come on, into the Hooby studio. No time to waste. Yeah. Hubba Hubba will be waiting for our Hoob news. <laughs> I went to the animal fair. Tootle and Timp were there. The big baboon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. The monkey fell out of his bunk and slid down the elephant's trunk. Whee! The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees. So, so what became of the monkey, 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 monkey animal fair? Are you ready with your news, Hoobs? Ready to give me what you've got on what to give a monkey to make him happy for my great Hoobopedia? We're ready! Hoobble doop whoop to all you Hoobs out there. Welcome to Hoob News, the new show for Hoobs everywhere. I'm Ivor. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today we've been asking the question... What can a Hoob give a monkey to make him happy? When a monkey I saw in a book made me happy, I wanted to think of a way to say thank you. First we found out that monkeys like swinging through the trees, so Ivor thought we might give a monkey a tree. <laughs> then Roma told us that monkeys like games. They like to roll around and chuck leaves. We thought we had the answer. We'd give the monkey a brand new game. But we didn't know any monkey games. So we went to ask the Tiddly Peeps. And they taught us how to talk like monkeys. We thought it would make a monkey happy to tell a story in monkey talk. So, first we practised our monkey talk. But when we tried to tell a story, we didn't know what we were saying. Next, Hubba Hubba showed us a story about a monkey. We found out that monkeys really like to have their fur cleaned. And they like to eat the bugs and dusty bits they find in their fur. So we started wondering if there was anything else that monkeys liked to eat besides bugs and dusty bits. As usual, the Tiddly Peeps had the answer. Monkeys like eating bananas. So, the answer to the question, what can a hoob give a monkey to make him happy, is... A, a banana. banana! And to prove it, we found this picture in our book. Fan Tabby Hooby! And so it's thanks once again to Ivor, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving hoobs everywhere a little peep into the world of peeps. And remember, wherever you are, have a lovely day and hoobble toodle do! Hoobble toodle do! <laughs> right, let's find ourselves a monkey! <laughs> Things we want to know. And Rome is somewhere far away The motorists are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop, hoop, hooray! The hoop of is coming your way <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay!